Hello, my name's David, and in this video, we're going to have a bit of fun. We are going to cut an image up to form a pattern style picture. Right, let's make a start. Now, to help us out, we're going to head up to View. We're going to go down to Show Grid. Now, if your grid doesn't open, head back up to View and go down to Grid and Axis. Now, with this, change it from Automatic to Basic. Now, I've got my grid line set up in red. They were black, just click in the window. Here you can use the color wheel or whatever method you're comfortable with and select a color of your choice. My subdivisions, which are not shown at the moment, are going to be in blue. Now, we need to find where the center of the image is going to be. Now, to help us out with this, if you go to the crop tool, looking at the line here, there it is there, there's the center point. There's the halfway point there. So select a grid which is going to come on those lines. That really will help. And all you need to do is just swipe across. I'm going to put in one, two, five. This will depend on the resolution of your image. And I'm going to give a subdivision of four. And again, just press enter or return. There's those blue lines. Looking at it, it's pretty close. This is quite a low res image. But if you go to presets, if you like this, by the way, just head out to the hamburger, click on the hamburger and create a preset. That is what I've done. I've got one, two, six by four. Notice how that comes directly on this line and directly on that line for the center. So that really is going to help us out. OK, clicking close. Right. Looking at this, those are the two lines we need to head for. Now, to make the selection, if we go to the toolbox, we're going to pick up the rectangular marquee tool, dragging it out. It was the last but one. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So let's start again. Right, dragging it out. It was the last but one here. And if I just come down, it was the first line down there. That should be our first panel, just moving it back out again. Releasing my mouse. That looks better. Go into view. We're going to switch off the grid. That'll allow us to see the selection. Right, that looks pretty good. I'm now going to use Command J, Control J, which is going to duplicate this selection. If you press V on the keyboard, that's going to give you the Move tool. Now we can just simply click on it. We're going to flip it over. Notice those lines. I've got the snapping switched on. So when we get to the end, it's going to snap to the corner there. Command J, Control J again. This time we're going to fold it down. And I'm going to use Command J, Control J one more time and just come into the grab handle. Let's bring this across. Don't forget that snapping is switched on. There it is. Went over a bit. So let's bring it back in. That looks better. H on the keyboard for the hand tool. Command D, Control D to deselect. That looks pretty good. Like that as a pattern star image. However, I've just noticed a little bit of a hairline here, so it's not quite lined up. If this happens, make sure you're on the right panel, which is this one. Press V to give you the move tool. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys. And in this case, I'm going to use the right hand arrow. I'm going to press it once. I'm going to press it again. That's just nudged it over one. And if I press H on the keyboard, that's better. That has disappeared. So if it doesn't line up, you can realign it just simply using the move tool. Right. Next, this makes a pretty good start point. For example, with this, why not head down to the adjustments? I'm going to go to black and white. I'm going to think this could make a pretty good black and white. Well, not like that. It doesn't. So they come into the blues. Let's take the blues down because there was a fair bit of blue in the sky into that sort of region there. Let's come to cyan, getting a bit of a Doctor Who effect going on with that sky, bringing the cyan down. Here you can see it on the roof of the buildings. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's head up to green and just, yeah, that looks good there. Experiment, see what works for your image. Bring in the yellows in, we get a little bit more texture out of the, the buildings. This was all pier was, uh, this was before renovations. It's now being completely renovated. Picture is quite an old one, but it works well as a pattern picture. There looks pretty good. You can also head back down. And with this, let's go to levels. Let's give it a little bit more bite. And you can see there's a gap here. There's a large gap with our white. So let's move this in. Press and hold down Alt or Option. 
you can see we get the white and as we come through what you want to avoid is the blacks so I'm going to back that out to this point here come into the blacks still holding down the alter option bringing it in we want to avoid those whites so I'm just going to back that up and I'm going to come to the gamma slider this is where we're going to give the image there that looks really good clicking to accept it there is our pattern style picture we have gone from I'm using shift on the keyboard clicking down we have gone from this to that looks pretty good now you can use this for all manner of things you could use it for titles you can use it as a starting point for your image for example let's just come back to this let's change the blend mode multiply that looks really good doesn't it coming down put a couple of moons in the sky you'll be on to a winner there's some really good ones there's some really bad ones as well i'm going to go back up i'm just going to use the normal and there it is so go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon and you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.